Hi guys, welcome to today's video. I didn't get a record yesterday because, well, I was unable to record. Because, well, no internet, sadly. And now, we're to the situation. Today's video. Today's video will be a video which the UK invades Ireland. Which will trigger a lot of things, but NATO won't be a thing unless, because if NATO is a thing, well, NATO would probably decide to invade Britain on the side of Ireland, even though Ireland isn't a NATO, but you know. After a pro-Irish rebels pop up in Northern Ireland, Britain declares war on Ireland. They expand into this. IRA forces push in. Push up to the north. Britain says this is a justification. France tells Britain to pull out of Ireland or France will go to war with them. Fighting over naval dominance in the channel, which we can use these colors for naval dominance in the channel. Or I could just give British naval dominance. Which, for simplicity's sakes, is these lands. I don't like how there's all these things, but, like, doesn't look as nice with all these dots on it. But if you want to know why, well, that's because Britain is at war with France and Ireland. And this is what they look like. British Navy pushes towards the south of Ireland, which eventually they take this area of the water, make an amphibious landing in the south, and push into Ireland from the north. Ireland is angered by this. France declares its support for Ireland. Along with Germany being upset of this. Because, well, in our timeline, they're a part of the EU, but the EU has been disbanded. Germany still doesn't like this. Because it knows France. If it decided to help Britain, which it could, well, France would just crush them. What does world history teach us? France always crushes Germany. Whether it be them legitimately. Well, after this, the Irish Navy is pushed back. But it's at this time, the French Navy trying to blockade more supplies to Britain goes up here. Blockading this area. Germany refuses all British troops, all British vessels from trading with them, saying that what Britain is doing is wrong. FRI sees what Britain is doing. Push them out of here. French troops arrive to Ireland a small amount and they push up. But not enough to stop the Brit Britain. Which overwhelmingly takes over the island. America is mad at this. Because, well, a lot of Irish people live in America. Canada 
debates whether it should help Britain or not, which they come out saying no, because Britain is the aggressor. But who's Britain's going to call on? Portugal. Who does France call on? Spain. And what did this do? Well, naval dominance around Ireland is taken by Britain, which they push towards their shore. All the naval fighting is happening out of the Mediterranean Sea. That's why we don't have the Medi I don't have the Mediterranean colored in. You know, well, do you think Spain will give that up? No. Portugal pushes to the Strait of Gibraltar. Portugal is... Britain pushes down towards Portugal. Also, this helps because it'll create a blockade. They push up. Spain, unready for this war, sees Portugal quickly push into Galicia. Portugal storms Spain into Galicia and everywhere. Spain may be stronger, but Portugal has one thing on its side, British support. Naval dominance is set up in the channel along Normandy and Brittany. And well, after this, a landing is made. Well, not really good that your coast is falling, France. And they push in. Eventually, they're able to make big gains. They take the Normandy Peninsula. They push into northern Brittany, where the Britons live. Well, they're a Celtic group. Scotland does not want to fight this war. Which France says, when Britain least expects that they will help those rebels. They get pushed back. This is what leads to a stalemate being set up in Spain. Well, Germany agrees to join the war on the side of France. Germany has a better economy than Britain, but Britain has dominance, naval dominance, in the Bay of Biscay. They push into the Netherlands waters and Belgium's. Belgium doesn't mind it that much. Germany starts pushing up here to blockade, well, Britain from this area. The, well, Denmark tells Germany to stop it. Germany refuses. Norway tells Germany to pull out of their water because They've been supporting Britain. Iceland says, because of the Cod War, Iceland joins the war. You know why I'm talking about a Cod War? I hope you do. Because if you don't, you'll think I'm talking gibberish. Denmark and Norway angry declares war on Germany. And this is where Britain starts pushing in. Britain has the upper hand right now because look at all their naval dominance. Sweden's rivals are in the war against Germany, right? Well, 
Belgium joins the war like the plan was. France's ships are almost completely sunk in the channel. Belgium starts to push down and a push over into Germany's Rhineland, the industrial heartland, I think. It is still, but I could be wrong. They push down, take the city of Bremen easily because Germany is still mobilizing. Well, if Germany is fully mobilized, Germany mandates conscription. But it doesn't do much because, well, it doesn't really work to have, like, 10 million men if you don't have 10 million rounds of artillery. Does it? They push up. Both Saxony and that falls. Netherlands quickly folds. People are starving. Canada is upset at this. You would think Canada wouldn't be, but what is Britain doing? But invading Europe. Well, Germany offers Sweden weapons, resources, and Germany's heartland of it. Well, is at this time the tide's term? Yes, Sweden joins the war. Marching into Norway. No, oh, we're not going up all Norway because we don't need to see naval dominance up there yet. Well, Sweden gets up to here and does this to Norway quickly. And unexpectedly. Well, who is Britain's best ally in Europe? Well, Turkey. So guess who joins the war? Greece. And guess who is able to take over Cyprus? Turkey. Actually, Turkey is respelled T-U-R-K-I-Y-E. Isn't that interesting? Turkey uh, or something? What is that new spelling pronounced like? Albania joins the war, which causes Greek Serbia to join the war. Which, and we know how the Balkans work. Causes Croatia to join the red team. No, yeah. Which causes Bosnia to join the red team. Which causes Macedonia to join the red team. Which causes Bulgaria to join the blue team. Which causes Montenegro to join the blue team. Which causes, well, Slovenia to be Slovenia. And this causes Serbska and the Serbian Krajania to rise up. Well... This doesn't look like it's going to go good for either Bosnia or Croatia. So, Serbia is also fully mobilized, unlike them. Well, unexpecting this, Serbia and Krajania has left. Well, Croatia gets stormed, but... Oh my god, I used the wrong map. This one doesn't have Kosovo on it. Well, I guess Serbia annexed it. They meet up with Turkish troops, which push into Bulgaria. And they push up. In the southern Montenegro. They liberate all of Kosovo. They push up the coast here. Turkey's navy obliterates Crete and Corfu Islands. Turkey occupies these lands. As we know, this isn't going to go good for Turkey. Because look, with their allies. And with this... Germany starts a pushback into upper Sa Lower Saxony. Which goes to success. They push them out of their borders and push into Belgium. France starts a push up. Okay. 
Well, they push up here. They push into the Netherlands now, liberating it. Britain's morale dips when this happens a lot. Belgium's future is bleak now. Fran Britain pulls troops back from Portugal, which leads to Spain pushing Portugal back. To their border here. Spain even goes as far to say, we will give you Galicia and a bit of Portuguese lands if you surrender now. Which Portugal accepts, seeing that Britain isn't sending them any more support. Britain is infuriated by this. And I mean infuriated. So they invade Portugal. They attack Portuguese ships, per Portuguese merchant ships. They bomb Lisbon. Well, this angers Portugal. So Portugal joins Spain and France. Portugal's navy had dominance over loads of lands. They push up. The Spanish navy pushes in. Well, now aid is getting in from foreign countries such as the United States. Canada sends its aid to France when it can. And, well, a push into Denmark is started. Which goes like this pretty well. Denmark gets crumbled. Well, this isn't good for Britain, is it? Britain is now in a pickle when, well... They have naval dominance over these lands. I think I might have used the wrong color. What does Britain do now? Well, German conscription has gone really good. So France initiates a conscription like German conscription, which leads to France pushing Britain back. With all the support coming in, well, this happens. And then this happens. France tells Italy they can get some reparations if they join the war. And less wealthy nations, such as... I think Slovenia might be a bit less wealthy. Visgrad decides to join along with Lithuania. The rest decide to stay out because they don't want a Russian invasion. That makes sense for like countries like Lithuania and Latvia. But they still aid the war. Oslo falls. Well, now Britain is kind of screwed. Iceland starts working with other nations to form a big blockade. Just look how well it's going now. Many nations are angered at this, including Turkey, who ain't getting any aid now. Well, Britain is in a pickle now, getting encircled. London is bombed again. A big chunk of the British Navy is encircled. That's called the Battle of Biscay. This is in the Biscay Bay. There's a place where I'm from called Biscay Bay. I'm not telling you where. Because that's unnecessary. And... Well, Britain is crumbling. Turkey's lira value starts crumbling, too. The British pound is now worth... Went from being worth about $1.50 US dollar, and now is worth 50 cents. 
US dollar. You're worth more than a US dollar now you're not. Well, well, Britain is completely encircled. British Isles is like a castle, so nobody can invade it. But this is where the IRA starts popping up all over Ireland and Northern Ireland. Pushing in. With more support in some areas than others. Even here has a lot of support in Northern Ireland because they're fed up with this. Starve the Brits are purposely starving these lands, may I add? Well, that's bad. Much worse than the Irish potato famine. Well, the networks work to hurt Britain, to liberate Ireland from Britain. Well, they do this. And this is how the Great Push-In by France works. Well, they push in the Southern Ireland and Northern Ireland helping these forces. Britain pulls out of Northern Ireland. Well, Ireland is now independent. Ireland annexes Northern Ireland. Go Ireland. The British Navy is starting to be obliterated. In the north especially. Like here, obliterated. All Britain has left is nuclear weapons, and we're not going to use nuclear weapons, because you know how that will go? Well, we'll have the color of this full map gray. The British Navy capitulates in a landing. And this is when they support the Scottish rebels, who declare independence. They make a landing here to take the coast. Well, this is officially when Bulgaria, Serbia, and Greece starts pushing Turkey back. Macedonia and them. Well, most occupied lands crumble by Turkey after the lira became valueless. Well, the Balkans. Balkan theater doesn't go good anymore. Well, there's big boom chicka waka waka. Well, look what happens to northern Macedonia. Look what happens to Albania. Tiny Albania falls. Rest in peace, Albania. Rest in peace, Macedonia. Greek Navy makes a landing. Bulgarian forces and Greek forces push towards Istanbul. And, well, more Greek first forces make naval landings. Turkey is pushed all the way back to Istanbul. Well, then this happens. You know, mostly due to its defensive pact, too, with France. That's why France is involved in this war. Greece eventually got involved, stating that, well, they couldn't at the time because, well, they were in chaos. Well, Cornwall is taken over. Britain is offered 
to surrender and lose less land. London is mad at this. Well, a lot of cities are. Even Wales. Wales at this point declares independence and there's nothing Britain can do well because Wales. Wales! Wales! Well, the sperm whales left. The nice dragon. The mighty dragon left. The mighty, mighty dragon. The mighty dragon. Look, my maps are a bit messed up again because look, wrong colors. Nope, it's the right color. Well, this is where, well, London falls. And once London falls, well, Britain gives up. Now, guess who is back involved in the war? Everybody's forces are at Turkey. Well, Turkey is not in a good spot. Armenia gets involved storming from this side. Kurdistan declares independence. Well, this is where Turkey dies. Turkey mandates conscription, but why does that do nothing? Because when the world is against you, well, even Syria starts pushing the Turkey. I thought they were in a civil war and too unstable for war. Well, guess again, you were wrong. France and German forces, Portuguese and Spanish forces arrive to help out Greece. Well, Turkey isn't having internal problems. Including, well, anti-Erdogan forces rise up across the north. Well, they push in. Take over the place. And now, the Treaty of Athens is signed. Which is basically the treaty for the Balkans. Anti, the new forces take the government. Greece annexes these territories. Bulgaria annexes these territories, including Istanbul. Bulgarian forces annex these territories. Greeks annex these and these. Serbians annex these. Montenegro annexes these. Croatia is completely crippled. Well, Germany and France will take a sliver to ensure peace along with Spain. Greece is really strong now. Bulgaria is strong. Montenegro, after the war, decides to join Serbia. Well, peacekeeping areas are made here. Well, these areas to France, these areas to Germany, these areas of Spain. Syria shall take these lands. Italy shall get these lands to maintain peace. These lands, Italian occupation, German occupation, French occupation, French occupation, Spanish occupation, Syrian annexation. Kurds get these, will take these lands. Armenia uh, shall get those lands. This is a harsh treaty. Turkey is also expected to pay war reparations. Which, if you ask me, crazy. Cyprus is annexed by Greece. All those leave occupation territories. Well, some nations are already out of the war because they have nothing to sign, else them, 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 
Well, Serbia has loads to annex, though. Which basically is the Serbians. Croatia shall annex the rest of Bosnia and Herzegovina. Croatia shall lose these lands. Serbia shall annex Serbska and the Serbian Krajania. Croatia shall pay war reparations. And these countries are out as they have nothing else to sign. Portugal and Spain don't have anything left to sign. Well, Spain, Italy, well, Germany still has stuff to sign. Well, this is better. Now let's uncolor all these waters by England. Well, in the Treaty of London, well, Cornwall gets independence. These lands are annexed by France. These lands are annexed by Germany. These lands are annexed by Germany in the partition of Belgium. These lands are annexed by the Netherlands, those by France. Because that's where their ethnic lands are. Sign France and Ireland. And Germany. Now to the Treaty of Glasgow. France is all right out. Netherlands out. England still in it, actually. The Treaty of Glasgow is a treaty in which independence is gave to Scotland. That's why it's called the Treaty of Glasgow, because where is it signed? Glasgow. Well, I guess you already knew that, because, well, I never... The independence is given to Scotland. Germany annexes former territories of Germany. In, but they also annex this and this. Sweden annexes these lands down in these lands. They also annex these lands. In these lands. Norway is split into two. One which is basically northern Norway and southern Norway, which are both the same nation. Well, the Treaty of Stockholm is signed by the nations. Well, Germany doesn't get... Well, this treaty really benefits Germany. Probably the most benefited nation. Or is it the Netherlands? Because they got a third more territory than they had. They're a third bigger. And look at Germany. Occupied there, that. Where did Greece get it the best? And why are some of the territories like that? Well, I forgot annex territories. No, I didn't. But... Thanks for viewing. I hope you enjoyed this video, which was basically a great European war. Thank you for viewing. I hope you have a wonderful day and wild mapper out. Remember, like and subscribe, like and subscribe, like and subscribe. Tell your mom to subscribe, your dad to subscribe, your mama to subscribe. Everyone you know, tell to subscribe because this is the best mapping series on 
YouTube with loads of capybaras. Thanks for viewing. Wild Mapper out.